Hi everyone, this is Log Prospector, Metadata Visualization for Lakes of Open Data. My name is Neha Makija. This is joint work with Mansi Jain, Nicolas Giavelis, Laura De Rocco, Sara De Bartolomeo, and Cody Dunn, all from Northeastern University. Data lakes are a recent trend that promote data availability over integration. Essentially, millions of tables are dumped together without much regard to integrating these tables and giving them a consistent schema. We work with open data since it's free to use without any restriction, but the technique can be carried over to a proprietary data lake as well. The two main characteristics of open data lakes are the huge, they can have millions of tables, and they don't have a clear structure, data within it can follow a mix of conventions. The recent high availability of open data lakes from governmental sources such as data.gov or non-governmental sources is very exciting for transparent re data science research worldwide. Some active research areas involve data discovery, data integration, and creation of benchmark databases. Very often, researchers don't care about the actual data present in the data lake, that is, the semantics, but rather structural properties. By structural properties, we mean parameters such as the number of rows, the number of columns, or the percentage of null or unique values in the data set. For example, imagine I'm a researcher testing my algorithm on real-world data. I would like my algorithm to work even if the data has a significant percentage of null values, and I also know that my algorithm needs a large number of columns to run. I would like to search for real-world data sets that match these structural specifications. I don't really care if the data set is about financial or agricultural data. However, open data portals tend to prioritize semantic-based search and offer limited functionality for structural metadata-based search. So we designed Log Prospector, a system to fish out appropriate data sets from data lakes based on the structural properties of data. Let us first quickly look at how researchers find appropriate data sets without the use of Log Prospector. To download data sets that match a certain specific set of requirements, a researcher must first individually download some data sets filter them out and see if they meet the requirements, and if they don't, then download some more data sets and repeat the process. Another common task is to uh, view aggregate statistics over um, data sets. To do this, the researcher must download all the data sets that they care about and run a custom script over them. This workflow is very time consuming and manual and not very adaptable to changing or vague requirements. Thus, we identified the need for visualization. To design the system, we followed a design study like methodology in a classroom setting. In accordance with this, we worked with a service learning partner, Dr. Laura Dirocco, a postdoctoral researcher at the Data Lab at Northeastern University. She works on problems such as data integration. We first interviewed her to understand the problem domain, her current process, and what her requirements were from a visualization. There were few key challenges in designing a visualization. The first was that the user could care about potentially many different attributes, not just the number of rows, the number of columns, but also the number of categorical columns or the number of null values in numerical columns specifically. The other problem is that data lakes are huge, so we needed a visualization that would scale across many data sets. And finally, different researchers could have different requirements, and not just that, requirements could vary by project for the same researcher as well. Keeping all these considerations in mind, we built Log Prospector. It uses multidimensional scaling, a technique that helps us represent high dimensional data in 2D. MDS preserves pairwise distances and guarantees that points that are more similar to each other are plotted closer together. We allow users to customize what similarity means to them by allowing them to assign weights to different metadata properties. Changing these weights triggers replotting of the MDS plot according to the new similarity function. Users can also choose if they care about numerical columns or categorical columns, or maybe both. Further filtering is supported with double-ended sliders. This is useful if the user has hard requirements. For example, the number of rows must strictly be under a thousand. It is also useful for excluding outliers from the MDS visualization. On the right-hand side, histograms provide summaries of aggregate statistics, provide overview of data distribution. There are four histograms for the four main attributes. Selecting a subset on the plot reflects on the histograms and now we can see the data distribution of the selected subset. Similarly, hovering on the histogram highlights the corresponding visual elements in the plot. For each of these datasets, details are provided on demand. 
by hovering on them. Once you have decided which data set is appropriate, you can click on it and be directed to a download link. Before introducing Log Prospector to our service learning partner, we undertook a series of informal feedback. The feedback reassured us that the layout was clear and the interactions were logical and intuitive. We then re-interviewed our service learning partner. They used the visualization to find data with the specific set of properties that were relevant for an algorithm that they were designing. They found our interface to be quite useful and said that without the tool, they would use a custom code to accomplish the same task and profile and subset the data. This would have required more time and a much higher barrier to entry as there's no simple visual interface. With our tool, they just took 10 minutes to accomplish the task and they could see patterns in the data that were not visible before. The log prospector can be extended in several key ways. Currently, we use a classic MDS implementation and this has cubic complexity. Because of this, the response time increases dramatically and the visualization does not update at interactive speeds for more than 200 data sets. This can be fixed by using an approximate MDS algorithm since the exact results of the MDS computation are not relevant for our task. Another useful extension is the introduction of a new compare task. We can add the task of comparing two data sets in the data lake based on their structural metadata. An extension that would be useful for researchers who care about both semantic and structural metadata would be to combine log prospective with existing systems in data portals that have um, semantic data filtering, such as keyword search. So this was Log Prospector. Thank you so much for listening. Um, the visualization is available for you to play around with at logprospector.github.io. Our paper, as well as supplemental materials like the code and the data we used in the visualization are all available at this OSF link. We will be happy to take any questions. Thank you.